Bala World is a multinational corporation headquartered in South Africa and operating in 27 countries worldwide. They distribute leading international brands and in rental, a fleet management, product support and logistics solutions. Bala World has a market cap of 16.6 .6 billion rand, a price to earnings ratio of 12.8 and a dividend yield of 2.6%. Looking at Bala World, uh, Chris, amongst the four that we're going to be discussing tonight, it's one of the big ones. Yeah, by far the biggest of the four we're looking mm -hmm. at tonight. And um, if you go back a few years, if you go out many years, and this is one of South Africa's oldest established companies, it used to be called Barlow Rand in the old days. And about a decade or so ago, they, they slimmed down their operations, sold off an awful lot of their businesses, um, and they, they now have much more of a focus. Although having said that, as I said earlier, uh, it's still quite a diverse business. Um, it's much smaller than it was, but uh, you know, so we, we, we've got a bit more focus in, into the thing. And Clive Thompson and mm -hmm. his, his management team, I think, have done a great job in the past few years because, as we said, it's, it, they're operating in very, very tough environments, uh, not just within, within South Africa, but within the rest of Africa and in places like Spain and in Siberia and Russia. So, you know, to try and hold, hold all of that together um, has been tough. And it's only in, in, the, in the past year or so that we've seen the fruits of what they've put in, and it's been pretty spectacular. How do you feel about management, uh, Clive Thompson? Chris seems to be quite positive on that. Yeah, I think they've done a, well, uh, a great job on that side. We know that they, they probably did the right thing of unbundling PPC a while back as well at the high of, of, of cement makers' uh, times. Um, so they've done a brilliant execution on that side as well. But it is a difficult environment. It's very cyclical, and I think uh, th they've done okay. Um, they got some problems in Spain that they are addressing at the moment as well. But of course, Russia and South Africa is pumping, and 42%, and I think, of, of the business are made up of, of equipment side. And that's, of course, I think at the moment the biggest spinner on not only on revenue, but also on, on um, the EBITDA and the headline earnings per share side. Um, the other big side on, on Barlow Worlds, of course, is also on the logistics side and the automotive side. So that's the two main categories that you look at if you look at Barlow World. And, you know, selling cars is cyclical as well, so that's a, that's a different <laughs> ball game. We know that they are at high selling in South Africa at the moment. We saw numbers from Imperial as well coming out not too long ago. So, yeah, I think that would be our only concern would be the cyclicality of, of, of this company and earnings going forward. And looking at a, an asset like uh, uh, Caterpillar, they've recently acquired uh, Bucyrus, so it's quite a big brand for them. Oh, and it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic. And as, as, as we were saying uh, prior to going on air here, I mean, Caterpillar you know, is one of the, the world's biggest uh, companies out there. And the, the, the Barlow World is represented not just in South Africa and Africa, but also in, in, in other jurisdictions in, in Europe and, and Russia and things like that. So Caterpillar obviously feels very, very comfortable with Barlow World. Otherwise, it wouldn't have given them all of these, these franchises. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's wonderful. It's, it's not a big daddy in the sense that they own slug, big slugs of the business or anything like that. But it's, it's nice to have that kind of feel-good factor uh, behind you. Mm -hmm. Looking at the share price, uh, Chris, if we move just a bit there, um, pretty much a cyclical, like uh, um, Gerbrandt was saying. At a price there, would you be getting into it right now? Yeah, look, it's come off quite a bit from its, from its highs. Um, and that last set of results which we saw, you know, really were, were outstanding. Um, I think it really a lot depends on whether you believe that this is going to carry on with this upward momentum in earnings. And I think it probably is. And as we were saying earlier, if they can achieve this kind of earnings performance with Spain, which is, has been a real drag for them and will probably uh, continue to be a drag for a little while yet, when that turns, I think that'll, that'll p produce another bit of impetus for them. But they're, in terms of, the, of their, their, their statement which, which came out with the results, mm -hmm. they're still very bullish on, on Russia particularly. I think the automotive side looks very, very good. So. Um, of, of, the, of the parts that are performing, I think they'll continue to perform. So, yeah, it's, it's taken a bit of a knock, and um, I think it, uh, it's, it's looking like m much better value than it has for a while. It is uh, really preferred by the institutional investors. Would you be getting into Barlow World right now, Gerbrandt? I'll probably wait for markets to pull back a bit more. Um, markets look a bit topish. Um, yeah, if you look at normalized earnings, this company should probably do about 7 Rand or 7 Rand 50 a share, and if you put that at a 12 or a 13 P, this company probably should trade about 85 or 90 rand a share. So there's probably some value in it, but I won't say it's dirt cheap at the moment either. Not dirt cheap, <laughs> but look, <laughs> let's look at uh, growth prospects. We did touch on Russia, we did touch on South Africa. Looking at the African continent, uh, what prospects do they have there? You see, that's the great big uh, question mark. Mm -hmm. um, superbly positioned, I think. Um, 
I always have to say to people who, who get terribly enthusiastic about Africa, yes, there are reasons to be enthusiastic about Africa, but we, we have to understand it's going to take time. This is not an overnight sensation by any stretch of the imagination, but I think they're exceptionally well positioned uh, for that. So hot or not, Barlow World? I think, I think, I think Barlow World's hot, yes. So one hot Barlow World uh, yourself, uh, right? Hot or but not? I think in this sector it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, lukewarm normally, but I'll go for hot because um, I do prefer this one on top of the other ones. All right, uh, two hots on <laughs> Barlow World.